Hi, welcome back. Today we're going to crochet this pot holder. They have a very stylish look and they look great in the kitchen and they're actually quite easy to make. I will go forward very slowly and explain everything I'm doing so everyone can follow. So let's begin. And for the materials, I used this 100% cotton yarn. It's in a size 8.4 and the color is army green. You'll also need a crochet hook size 4 millimeters, some scissors, and then a tapestry needle to weave in all your ends and sew it together in the end. First we double up the yarn to make the pot holder extra thick. And remember you don't have to use two skeins if you want to double up the yarn. You just take the thread on the outside of the skein and the other end that comes out from the inside and put them together. And then they will meet up in the middle. And of course you can use a size 8-8 yarn instead of 8-4, but that's up to you. We will now begin a chain. First we make a loop and take the long end of the yarn behind the loop. Then grab it in the middle with your hook and pull. Now we make a chain, so you yarn over the needle and pull through the loop on your hook. Yarn over, pull through. That's two chains. Yarn over, pull through. That's three. This knot down here, that doesn't count as a chain. So you have three chains here. We need to do 35 chains in total. So you just keep chaining until you have 35 of these. So pause the video and do this in your own pace. And then we will begin the next row together. When we have the 35 chains, we will chain an additional one to turn. And then we begin working this way. So now we will begin working in these chains. We will skip this first one we just did. So this one on the loop, this loop on the hook, sorry, that doesn't count. So this is your first and this is your second. And we will skip the first and begin working from the second chain. Oh, I lost it, sorry. So from the second chain, we insert the hook. Then we grab the yarn, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. And that's your first single crochet. We will keep doing single crochet for the rest of the first row. So now we find the next chain, this one. Insert the hook, grab the yarn, pull through the one loop, yarn over and pull through two. So that's two single crochet. Insert your hook in the next one, grab the yarn, pull through yarn over, pull through, two. That's three. Insert your hook in this next chain. Grab the yarn, pull through, yarn over, pull through, two. So that's four. Now you do one single crochet in every chain all the way across. And remember we chained off 35 and added one, but we skipped the first one. So you should have 35 single crochet when you're done. And you just count the Vs on top. So count 35 and we will begin the next row together. And when you are, are at the other end, you have a row looking like this. And again, remember this knot this doesn't count as a stitch. That's our slip knot from the beginning. So this is our final chain. And we will work one last single crochet into this one. So now we're done with row two and we will turn the work. So chain two to turn. Yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through. Now we turn the work 
and begin working the other way. For this next row, we will work half double crochet. So we skip the first two. This is the chains we just did. So we will begin working from the this third stitch right here. For a half double crochet, we yarn over, insert the hook, grab the yarn, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three loops. That's one half double crochet. We yarn over, insert the hook in the next stitch, grab the yarn, pull through, so you have three loops on the hook, yarn over, and pull through all three loops. So now you have two half double crochet. The next stitch, this one right here, yarn over, insert the hook in the stitch, grab the yarn, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three loops. And the next stitch, this one right here, yarn over, insert the hook in this next stitch, grab the yarn, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three loops. So now you continue with one half double crochet for the rest of the row. And again, I recommend that you count that you still have 35 when you are at the end. At the end of the row, we will again chain two to turn the work. So yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through. That's it. Remember to chain two every time we turn the work. So at the end of each row, you chain two and then we turn. Now we will continue working half double crochet, but we will work in the third loop. So you have all these stitches on top, all these V's, and usually we work underneath these two and insert our hook under these two strands. But for this row, we will turn it and we have a row of V's in front of the work as well. As well. So you have on top and in front of you. This loop right here, this is the front loop and this one is your back loop. When we turn this one down here, if we insert the needle, this is the third loop and this is the one we will be working in. Remember to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell if you want to be notified. So we still do half double crochet, so we yarn over and we skip the first two. So this is our first stitch. So instead of going into the stitch like we usually do, we yarn over and then bottom up insert our hook in the third loop. I didn't get both strands, sorry. Then we yarn over and pull through one, yarn over and pull through all three loops. All right. Again, yarn over and insert your hook from the bottom and up in this third loop down here. Grab the yarn, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three loops on the hook. Yarn over, insert the hook in the third loop of the next stitch Grab the yarn, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three loops. So it's actually just regular half double crochet, but instead of working in this stitch on top like we usually do, we will go in and grab this 
third loop down here. So yarn over, find the next stitch, third loop from the bottom and up, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three loops. This does that the other loops will be pushed out on the back side of the work and make a great effect. So now you continue working one third loop half double crochet for the rest of the row. And remember to count your stitches when you are at the end. So after this row, it looks pretty regular, but when we turn it over, we see this line of stitches. And this is the front loop and the back loop we weren't working in, and therefore it is being pushed out on the back side of the work. And this will be our front side when we're done. So now we will turn the work again. So chain two, as I told you before, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through, and then turn. Now we will do another row of regular half double crochet. So we will not be working in this third loop. We will be working into the top stitches like we always do with a half double crochet. So the front loop and the back loop. Yarn over and skip the first two stitches. This, uh, this is the chains we just did. So from the third stitch, we insert our hook on top, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three loops. Again for the next stitch, yarn over, insert the hook in the top stitch, front loop, back loop, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three loops. So now a row of regular half double crochet and after that you do a row of third loop half double crochet. Remember in the end, chain two every time you turn. So you, when you are at the end, you chain two and then you turn the work and begin working from the third stitch. So for the rest of the work, you will work one row of regular half double crochet and then a row of third loop half double crochet. Switch these two until you're done. And my work measures 19, 19 and a half centimeters. So you will continue for the double amount of that for 38 or 39 centimeters tall. Just continue with one row of half double crochet and one row of third loop half double crochet for, for about 39, 38 to 39 centimeters, and then we will sew it up, all right? When we're all done with the 39 centimeters, or 38, 38 and a half I have-ish, we will sew it up, we will sew the ends together. So you take the right side up and fold it, so now the wrong side is out and you take a new piece of yarn on your tapestry needle and attach this down here where the fold is so we can sew it all the way around. But first I will connect the ends, the corners and leave a stitch marker. Also in the other corner. And I will actually put some stitch markers along the edges just to make sure I sew it up evenly. And we are now ready to sew them together. So I take this edge and insert my hook on both sides and pull it through. And again from the same side through both stitches 
and we will just continue with this one in every stitch so you just sew it up all the way around but leave this leave as much as you need but i will leave about this and turn it over and then sew up the rest so leave this and turn it over before you shut the hole I turned it over and I only need to sew up this. Just remember before you sew up the last little piece to really push out the corners from the inside so they will be sharp. But that's how it looks. So now we will just sew up the final part. And this I do with the mattress stitch. So this is the middle the middle the thread is over here so I go down the middle and up the other side the opposite of where the thread is and then down the middle and up the other side down the middle up the other side this makes it as invisible as it can be and that's it our finished pot holder. Very stylish looking. It's nice and thick and ready to use. So I hope you found the tutorial easy to follow. If you did, please press thumbs up. And of course, you're welcome to subscribe to my channel. I hope to see you again soon. Bye!